Tyron Woodley's a good fighter, but he's got a clear flaw that's holding him back. What do I mean by that? Coming at you right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my V-Boxing. To give a little bit of context, Tyron Woodley's a very accomplished MMA fighter who held the UFC welterweight championship from July 30th, 2016 to March 2nd, 2019. That's nearly three years. He's also got some power in his hands, which is evident in his knockouts of Josh Kocek, Dunyang Kim, and Robbie Lawler. Not to mention his TKO victories. The chosen one is dangerous. However, However, within recent years, a bit of a problem has risen in Woodley's game, which I'll talk about in a bit, but how did the chosen one of the UFC get into boxing? Apparently, Woodley had a backstage incident with Jake Paul and Jaleon Love, where his inexperience in the sport of boxing was mocked. A little before this, Jake Paul had a fight with Ben Askren, a friend of Woodley's, and won in the fashion of a first round TKO. Needless to say, most people weren't expecting Jake Paul to win, which would lead to Woodley calling him out. Woodley would then fight Jake Paul twice, losing once by split decision and again by 6th round knockout. Both of these fights, along with the 4 recent losses in the UFC, would soon show the clear flaw in Woodley's game that I hinted at earlier, hesitation. For the sake of time, I'm gonna focus on his first fight with Jake, specifically the 4th round of that fight. In the 4th round, with around 55 seconds still left on the clock, Woodley hits Jake with a clean double jab to right overhand that sends him into the ropes and clearly rocked him. At this point, most fighters, including a younger Taiwan Woodley, would see that as an opening to unload, pause, and finish it right then and there. Woodley, on the other hand, let Jake recover and simply just gestured at him. He quite simply saw the opportunity and just didn't take it. He didn't let his hands go, which would lead to a split decision win to Jake Paul. That same hesitation would also get Tywin Woodley knocked out by Jake Paul in their rematch on December 18th, 2021. To answer the Z Products question on my last video, I personally don't believe that Tyron Woodley is overrated because he's shown that he's got some definitive power in his hands. He's just got a problem with letting his hands go. <laughs> and don't hate me for this comparison, but it's a very similar case of how Logan Paul fought in his rematch with KSI. There's plenty of power, but not nearly enough output. If you haven't already liked, commented, subscribed, the worst thing that's going to happen is I'm probably going to cry myself to sleep tonight, but if you don't click on this next video, Tyron Woodley's coming for you when you're asleep. I would like to see Woodley box again, minus the hesitation of course.